Hello, it's the Spaceman here. We're coming at you again on the airwaves. Sneaking under the radar. So, <clears throat> this is a short little video here. It's about some tobacco, some aromatic pipe tobacco that I had stored up about <clears throat> eight years ago to be precise. It's getting pretty close to eight years now. It was August 2016, so we're going to say about seven and a half years, I guess, close to that. So, uh, it was, the blend was Lane Dark Red, Lane Limited, Dark Red. So, anyway, this is the jar that I stored. This is only one of the jars I stored some of it in. This is an 8 ounce mason jar or ball jar. Actually it's uh it's not ball, it's cur. It's about cur sealing. Cur self sealing. So yeah this is um a little label I made for I made my own label from the uh the advertisement on the website of course it's you know it was a bulk I bought it in bulk and I have a few other larger jars of it stored up and I'm smoking it in my uh, Missouri Meerschaum Diamondback so I like this blend a lot. When I first found it back in 2016. So, I knew about all the deeming regulations and everything that was happening with the FDA and everything. So I said, I don't know what they're going to do with this blend. But I'd like to store some up. <clears throat> Just for the fact that even if Lane Limited... I believe it's the Scandinavian Tobacco Group decides they want to, they're going to discontinue it. And I'll be doggone if that's what they did. They went and discontinued it. So, seven and a half years now, I decided I was going to go and open one of the tins. See how it kept. Well, It's, it's not bad. It, 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 it tastes as though that it's kept most of its flavor. Uh, it's a black cherry with vanilla, I believe, and it's made with the uh, <coughs> Green River Burley. I think the same thing they make Lane BCA with. I believe, I wonder if Lane BCA is still being made. I think it is. This blend is right, <clears throat> I have some right here <clears throat> for you to look at, and um, it's, uh, you know, maybe it's not quite as flavorful as I remember it, but then again, maybe my memory is not serving me totally correct either, because this was a while back, this is like we're going back almost eight years ago. I don't know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> actually, it was eight years because it was tw May 2016 when I actually smoked it for the first time. So I didn't sell her any until August of that year. So anyway, what I did was I opened it up and I'm smoking it now. And I don't know. It's not bad. It, it, it seems like it was much more flavorful, but it's still wanting me to puff and puff and puff. I hate the yearning to puff more and more and taste the flavor so it can't be all that bad it is an aromatic i know aromatics don't exactly retain their flavor perfectly unless they're you know pre-sealed from the factory and and all that in in one of those uh coined shaped tins from europe or uh one of the american uh tins like cornell and deal uh, type tin so we're smoking song now. Just figured I'd come on here and um, give you a little rundown on the deal with that. 
it's it's not bad it doesn't taste bad it tastes like it may have kept a lot of its flavor and so did uh i do know i opened up some edwards uh i think it was called uh oh don't tell me i forgot king arthur's court maybe i want to say king king arthur's court something like that it was a it's a vanilla blend i think it's King something court. I can't remember. They have a chocolate blend called, uh, boy, I tell you, I, I have a hard time remembering these names. Um, King's Pride, I think, is the chocolate. Pride of Kings. That's the chocolate blend. It's like a nougat. But their other one, uh, King Edward's Court. King Edward's Court. That's the name of it. I opened some, I smoked it, and I compared it to some newly purchased uh, tobacco in a bag. It was a couple years ago, and it just it, it tastes like it kept its flavor pretty well. So, as I wouldn't say this Lane Limited Dark Red is superb like it was when I, you know, it's fresh and superb, but it's 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 not bad. It's pretty close. I would say it's retained probably 75 to 80 percent of its flavor, which is just enough for me, I guess. I've, I've been sitting here smoking. This is my second bowl now, and it really is flavorful. It really is rich, like it was the day I bought it. Maybe I need, you know, to smoke a couple bowls in this pipe, get it conditioned to this flavor. I don't know, but. It's like the day I bought it, and uh, it's been in storage in a vacuum sealed in this tin here. Vacuum sealed. To be exact, it's been... Well, let's see, August 2016, right? September, October, eight months. Uh, so, seven years and eight months. A little over seven and a half years. It has a very um, sweet vanilla caramel, like kind of cherry caramel vanilla, black cherry caramel vanilla, a little bit of maybe maybe chocolate in there. Very good. Um, this was at one time compared alongside of Cult Blood Red Moon. But it's very good. So it was successful. Maybe not every single jar. You know, there may have been jars that had um, slightly been slightly compromised or seepage of air into the jar and that would affect it now if it's a non-aromatic that's not going to affect it that'll help it age better this is excellent so yes yeah, cellaring is a good idea for aromatics but they don't always keep their retain their casing and their full flavor so that's something you might want to think about so uh that's all i That's all I have to say on this video, and um, I'll catch you all soon on the next video, and you all have a good time puffing on your pipe. Cheers.